the world is abuzz with Rihanna's surprise performance in India. Eight years after her last tour, she took the stage not for a massive stadium concert, but a billionaire's private event. This unexpected appearance has sparked a wave of curiosity in fans and media alike. For just 6.3 million US dollars, Riri performed a comeback concert at the pre-wedding party of Indian tycoon Ambani's son. What's the real story behind her Indian concert? Was it the money or something more? Are there unseen connections at play? Is this comeback a hint of something bigger on the horizon? We're diving deep into Rihanna's surprising return, her ties to India, and what this might mean for the future of music's biggest pop star. Join us as we unravel the mystery. Let's rewind. The event was a pre-wedding celebration for the son of Mukesh Ambani, India's richest man, and one of the world's top 10. Imagine extravagant light shows, celebrity guests like Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg, A-list Bollywood stars, and of course, Rihanna headlining with a dazzling 19-song set. Incredible, but why? Fans have been yearning for another Rihanna concert for years. However, in recent years, Riri has been focused solely on her business ventures. The only time she performed briefly was for key prestigious events such as the Super Bowl. Well, that question is answered, but not in the way we expected. And funnily, India isn't exactly known for its massive Riri fan base. Another interesting thing is that the price at which she agreed to perform was a fraction of her usual fee, and yet she accepted Accepted. This rather sudden shift from entertainer to socially conscious businesswoman has been observed for some time now, and her decision to give a major show for the richest Indian in the world begins to make sense from a certain perspective. Let us start by scrutinizing the business dynamics of both Rihanna the pop sensation and Rihanna the businesswoman. Rihanna's journey from a struggling girl in an abusive household to global stardom is nothing short of remarkable. Discovered at just 16, her debut album catapulted her into music legend status. But here's the kicker, her immense wealth isn't from hit singles, it's from Fenty Beauty, her groundbreaking collaboration with LVMH. But before we delve into Fenty Beauty's success story, let's trace how the 36-year-old icon built her empire. Rihanna's diverse revenue streams are impressive. Her tours grossed $290 million, music royalties reached $157 million, and endorsements like Samsung add $61 million. Additionally, her savvy investment in Jay-Z's Tidal streaming platform yielded about $9 million, while her fragrance empire contributes $80 million. But here's where the real game changers come into play, Savage X Fenty and Fenty Beauty. Savage X Fenty, a collaboration with textile fashion group, alone pulls in a jaw-dropping 300 million, while Fenty Beauty has earned Rihanna an enviable 1.4 billion. Her amazing success with Fenty has cemented her status as a business mogul, landing her on the Forbes billionaire list. With a net worth exceeding 2 billion, it begs the question, is the 6.3 million wedding gig just a drop in the bucket? Is Rihanna's journey solely about money, or does it signify something deeper as she challenges beauty norms and embraces individuality? From her music videos featuring dancers of all backgrounds to her philanthropic work through the Clara Lionel Foundation, Rihanna breaks stereotypes and tackles global issues head-on. Fenty Beauty, her flagship brand, Riri's vision of mainstreaming inclusivity became an overnight global mega success. Fenty Beauty isn't just makeup, it's a movement led by Rihanna herself. Before inclusivity was a buzzword, Rihanna spotted a gap in the beauty industry. Fenty Beauty emerged as a pioneer, offering products celebrating diverse skin tones, sizes, and genders. This commitment wasn't just a marketing strategy, it was Rihanna's vision reflected in her music career. Consumers resonated with this dedication. Fenty Beauty's launch wasn't just successful, 
it was a phenomenon. Sales surpassed Rihanna's music career earnings, making it a cultural force driven by Rihanna's star power and understanding of the beauty landscape. The global personal care and beauty market is already valued at $640 billion. But that's merely scratching the surface. Currently, beauty conglomerates mostly target a narrow ethnicity and body type. However, there's a surge in purchasing power across ethnicities, with experts predicting a booming beauty market for darker-skinned individuals. As an example, the buying power of Hispanic and Black communities is expected to reach $2 trillion by 2025 and $2.6 trillion by 2045, making today's minority populations the majority of the United States. The numbers speak volumes about Rihanna's remarkable transition from singing sensation to socially conscious business mogul. Fenty's universal appeal proves she's in tune with what people want, but it's not just luck. Rihanna's strategic planning has been key to her success. Celebrity net worth estimates her annual earnings at $70 million. Impressive, right? But brace yourself, Fenty hit $550 million in its debut year and has since skyrocketed to over a $1 billion by 2023. That's more than all her other ventures combined. With Fenty Beauty flying off the shelves in Sephora stores worldwide, Rihanna's vision is crystal clear. She's already eyeing the next frontier, ensuring her brand's success for decades to come. Where does the journey lead next? India, a rising powerhouse, may hold the key to an untapped market for diverse beauty products. McKinsey's report, The Beauty Market, in 2023 predicts India to emerge as a global hotspot for beauty. The report also highlighted that if brands want to make it big in India, they have to change their game plan to match what Indians are all about. They need to cater to the unique local tastes and conditions if they want to ride the wave of success in this booming economy. With a revenue of $31.5 billion this year, India is currently the fourth largest beauty market, projected to grow by 40% by 2026. The cosmetics market is set to grow at 10.91%, compounded annually. With a population of 1.4 billion, the projected per capita income increase of 138% by 2040 will result in a massive uptake in consumer spend. This is unprecedented anywhere in the world. The current market base of 17 million women has the potential to swell by another 83 million, a staggering 100 million consumer base. So not only do we see a clear upward trend in spending on self-care products, but also a significant increase in the purchasing power of India's existing customer base. India isn't just the logical next step, it's the perfect one. At this point, we might be wondering if Rihanna's remarkable show in India last week was more than just another concert. Do you think her performance at Ambani's wedding has a deep deeper connection to Fenty Beauty. Here is where the richest man of India comes in. Mukesh Ambani, not only India's most powerful man today, but also a key figure in the global business arena. As the ninth richest centi billionaire in the entire world, his influence extends from the political arena to Bollywood stars to individual Indians and into the Silicon Valley. Ambani's Reliance Industries took over all the Sephora stores in India last year. Their entry into this branded segment of beauty shows the growth potential of this business sector in India. But here's the big question. How massive are these numbers? Here's our educated guess. India is a booming market and customers are shopping everywhere and all the time. The consistent growth across all channels, be it in-store or online, is striking. And Sephora has always embraced multi-distribution channels from the get-go. Prior to its acquisition by Mukesh Ambani, Sephora India held a 5-10% to share of the 31 billion Indian market last year. Reliance's expertise and the booming market suggest a potential huge 30% growth rate for Sephora India. And Sephora is Rihanna's platform of choice globally. She, a master of strategic partnerships, aims for maximum impact, making her comeback show at the world's biggest wedding ever for India's richest celebrity family, the owner of Sephora India, just before the launch of her brand in India, is the perfect way to grab not only the Indian people's attention, 
attention, but also ignite a global media frenzy. This is not a coincidence that a week after her concert, Fenty Beauty launches in India. Clearly, she knows how to play the game right. With her smart Ambani connections, Fenty will be guaranteed a strong presence in India for a long, long time. So, what do you think? This is Prime Think.